Those of us who like watching Netflix are constantly seeking for new obsessions. Sex, Life, a recent release, is yet another new program to appear and almost instantly get people talking. A lot. Fortunately, the streaming giant has more than enough alternatives when it comes to massively bingeable material. Since its premiere on June 25th, the sexually graphic series, based on B.B. Easton's novel 44 chapters about four guys, has sparked discussion about a variety of topics, not the least of which is its rather unexpected twist ending. Sex, Life Season 2 will be available on Netflix on March 2, 2023. What transpired at the Sex, Life Season 1 finale, then? We'll explain everything to you in detail right now and discuss what those major surprises could indicate for a future Season 2. What transpired in Sex, Life Season 1? You guys, oh boy. From the very beginning of Sex, Life Season 1 till the very end of the finale, it was an explosive roller coaster. The majority of the season was spent by viewers wondering whether or not former wild child Billy would leave her now sexually dysfunctional husband Cooper and her life in Connecticut with their two young children in order to return to New York City and the arms of her ex-boyfriend Brad. It would be an understatement to say that Billy hesitated when it came to making a choice, and she did so while well aware that Cooper was aware of her fascination with Brad, the sex she had with him, and how miserable she had grown to be in her peaceful existence. Cooper is confronted with the fallout of his behavior at said sex party, where he attempted to make Billy have sex in front of everyone, after several failed attempts to spice things up for his wife. Cooper eventually gave in and let Trina, the wife of his buddy Devin, to humiliate him in front of the group while Billy watched in tears. After Billy exited the room, Devin approached her and made a suggestion that because their spouses were engaging in sexual activity, they should as well. Cooper intervened as she was rejecting him after hearing what was happening and hitting Devin so severely that he had to make up an incident of mugging to cover his tracks. Devin, however, also used it as a weapon against Cooper in an effort to persuade him to back a business venture that he wanted authorized. Sadly, good guy Cooper made the decision to place the responsibility for all of his errors on Billy, claiming that she instilled darkness in him by writing about her relationship with Brad and driving Cooper to extreme lengths to fulfill her desires. When Cooper tells his employer, Francesca, that he beat Devin, she immediately places the the blame on Billy and seizes the chance to attempt to secure Cooper's exclusivity after his divorce by handing him the key to her apartment and telling him, you don't ever have to go home again. Cooper makes the decision to speak with Brad one final time, going to his place to find out whether Brad will truly be there for Billy and the kids if Cooper leaves their marriage. Brad admits that he has previously attempted to seduce Billy and shares the news that he just proposed to her but she declined and has been denying him all along. Cooper informs Billy that he lost his shot at the partnership at work because of beating Devin, but that they must be absolutely honest with each other moving forward if they're going to succeed after their highly toxic interaction with Devin, Trina, and the other moms at their son's school function. For a while, it was also evident that Cooper and Billy were working on patching up their relationship. In addition to Billy's re-enrollment in the graduate program she had left behind when she became pregnant, Cooper and she appear to be spending more time nude together, and the fact that their rather public problems didn't derail them appears to improve relations with Devin, Trina, and the neighborhood moms. The discussion about abandoning your genuine self to fit in that Sasha had during the book reading sets off Billy, who then sees Brad standing far away in the crowd. Yet Billy seems to move on, and later she and Cooper attend their son's school performance. Although Billy is thrilled to wake up next to Cooper, she later discovers that it's not enough as she listens to voiceover narration as she observes. When Cooper takes care of the children at home, Billy soon appears racing through the streets of New York. Cooper calls Francesca while following Billy's whereabouts on her phone and taking care of the kids. As you would have anticipated, Billy visits Brad at his apartment and informs him that she is staying with Cooper and that this changes nothing before yelling, now fuck me, to fade to black. What may the ending of sexual relations mean going forward? The author of Sex, Life, B.B. Easton, did publish follow-up novels detailing her relationships with each of the four men in her original narrative, so there is more than enough material for a second set of episodes. What could possibly follow for Billy, Cooper, and Brad? Brad doesn't respond to Billy's question, but he did flash her a pretty naughty smile, so it's likely that he supports her decision to stay with Cooper while still serving as her sidekick and well-endowed man candy. As Brad is poisonous, manipulative, and extremely shady in addition to being attractive, I honestly have my reservations about his ability to accept Billy's mental world not being entirely under his total control in the long run. Of course, we don't know if Billy told Cooper about her choice and Cooper made the decision to allow her to have Brad while still being married. We don't know if Billy left without stating what she wanted or where she was going or if Cooper is tolerating this so they can keep their marriage intact because he did not appear to be in any way joyful when Francesca asked him if he was okay. Also, we don't know if this creates a possibility for Cooper to start a personal connection with Francesca or if Billy brought up the idea before she departed to spend time with Brad's um dot 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 not so little Brad. We'll simply have to wait and see whether sex, life returns for a second season because there are a lot of different directions the story may go. Thanks for watching, and if you are new to channel subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.